Hello there. In this video, I'm going to try to speak about uh, how strings, runes, and bytes uh, relate to each other. So it's going to be a small introduction to that, to those details, and uh, I think it's uh, it's necessary that you start knowing a bit about them uh, as the exercise gets a bit more complicated with the strings. So let's start by showing you an example to illustrate. So it's easier. Go. Go. Test. Go. Let's write a small program. Package main. All right. Let's declare a string. A string. Okay. Let's call it sentence. Sentence. They will say hello. So if we print it as it is, then the sentence this should work. Um, go on, test and go. This works well. We put the sentence string into the sentence variable and no issue at all it prints perfectly so now let's say i want to print i want to count how many uh, letters has the sentence so now you know you should know how to do the four loops with the range, so let's range the sentence and let's put the index and the letter. And now I want to print. Uh, Put F. This is the index. The index. I'm going to put index. Deck. Value. Letter. Value. Or character. This is probably better. Backslash N. So index letter. And I'm going to put a counter as well, which I'm going to initialize to zero. And I'm going to print the FMT print. time to write this little program but here I'm gonna get way more information about that halo thanks to uh, my range function and um, those print F I, uh, I, uh, I built so let's see let's try to see what will happen now uh, go run does it go so there we go at index here we have a letter H and uh, we have a uh, oh, counter value. One second. I forgot backslash n first of all, and I forgot to iterate. Counter plus plus. There we go. Right, let me start again. So there we go. So the counter value does uh, five iteration. And on each of those iterations, we can see the index for 
where the iteration happens and uh, what letter, what character it happens for. So right now, it seems pretty logical. Hello has five letters and um, each letter is situated in its, their index. So now what would happen if I would change this to sequence of bytes? Sentence becomes a slice of bytes. I convert it. Let's see what happens. So pretty much the same thing happened, except that we have the value um, as a byte. So 72 in the ASCII table is the, the uppercase H man ASCII. Is it? Yes, it is. And then the rest is logically the same. I will let you check them. Um, now, a string is a sequence of bytes, but you've been using probably the function uh, print rune. So, why are we using runes? Well, uh, as you might have seen at this point, uh, the go source code is actually encoded in uh, UTF-8. So it's actually used uh, in order to show more letters than the ASCII table um, because of the many languages in the world and uh, because there, uh, there were many uh, issues with uh, encoding all the letters in the world besides the alphabet the english alphabet uh, they had to use the, the utf8 is now the most used encoding uh, um, language so let me see let me show you what would happen for example if instead of hello i would put nihao in chinese so let me get uh, there we go. So this is hello in Chinese uh, with the characters. Let's go back to a string. There we go. So now let's run it. You may expect there's two characters actually. Let's see what we can we see. One character, two characters, the counter value did two. We see it uh, appearing here again. It's Disney how. But check out the index. It's zero and three. So why is that? Um, why is the index not zero and one? Well, that's actually because the um, those are actually wounds and those runes are taking uh, more spaces, more byte spaces. So if I declare a slice of bytes, now look at the counter value. The counter value becomes six. And then look at the letters. It's something, something happened here, but uh, it's not showing me the, uh, it's not showing me the, um, the Nihao anymore, the two signs, the two um, pictograms. So let's now convert that to a slice of room. So what do you think will happen? In this case, because we keep them as runes, the counter will count two. And normally we'll show exactly the same thing as before as when it was a string. Uh, with the exception of the, uh, 
the code. This is the UTF code for each one of the signs. So this is it pretty much for this lesson. It's just so that you're aware of uh, what's going on under the hood and uh, for, the, for the strings. You have to know that it's encoded in UTF-8 for Go and you have to understand that it's not always uh, it's gonna, not going to be limited to the ASCII table. Um, a string is made of bytes, not of runes, and you have to keep that in, into your mind when you're coding in Go. Uh, thank you for your attention and until next time.